Hey Gordon, it's Andy, your agent. I know it's been a long time. I'm just thinking to tell you some good news, really. I know you've been on a long road to recovery. Look, I've got you a shot. Back to your old stomping ground. You can show him off today at 1pm. Oh, and Gordon, don't fuck this up. Ten years, loyal service, and this is how they repay me. Couldn't even get in the building. It's 22 years out of date. Let's get it sorted. Okay, should we, uh, should we get started? Right, yeah. The time has come for me to speak and not squeak, so it's called Ready Steady Goaf. It's part chat, part cooking, and it's me and Melinda Messenger. Gordon, I think you've got the wrong idea about this. You're not sure about the cooking element, are you? Yeah, I'll text Melinda now and tell her she's out. Gordon! Your agency sent through your details and, uh, well, says you've got two years' experience in the broom cupboard, which, which is great. Yeah, good times. Pity about the snake in the grass, though. All I'm saying is never trust your best mate. You blink and the next thing you know they're hosting game shows on primetime telly whilst you're doing a gig with Bodger and Badger in a student union in the arse end of nowhere. I'm confused. All I need to know is you're up to date with the latest health and safety regulations, because at the moment... I don't know what you're on about. What? What are you on about? The job opening. As a cleaner. Oh, God. <laughs> I know what's happened here. I'm in the wrong room. It's these bloody new buildings. They all look the same. Oh, it makes sense now. I'm meant to meet Jody. Oh, sorry for wasting your time, fella. What room is this Jody in, then? This one. Oh. God. Sorry. It's a... Bruce Jenner type thing, isn't it? You've got it wrong. I'm a man who just happens to be called Jody. Hey, you can be yourself around me, don't worry. I'm used to people being prejudiced towards me, so I know where you're coming from. You're too small, Gordon. You've not been on the telly for years, Gordon. Part chat, part cooking will never work, Gordon. Well, it'll never work. It's, it's outdated. Oh, here we go. Just another puppet in a suit, terrified of taking a chance. I'm just trying to say it's, it's a pretty crappy idea, isn't it? I'm, I'm not a commissioner. And I'm not a cleaner. The only cleaning up I do is at award ceremonies, and you should know that. Well, this has been a waste of time, hasn't it? Embarrassing for you. Gordon, despite your attitude, you're ridiculously well qualified for the job, so despite my better judgement, potentially, I'm going to give it to you. So why don't you go home, calm down, have a think about it, Give me a call when you change your mind. Yeah, and you give me a call when you've sold 500,000 annuals, baby. Can you open the door for me? Yeah. Yeah, got it. Uh, uh, uh. You've just made me look a right prick in there. I've just been pitching my TV concept to the cleaning manager. Were you going to take 12.5% of my wage if I'd taken the cleaning job then? Oh, never mind it being a good way to get into the building. I'm not that desperate. What do you mean my gas is being turned off? You know what, Andy? You're sacked. Sacked! I'm so sorry. Did you do the nose trick? Yeah. She so did. She did take it down immediately. And then it got off. And then um, she reposted it on Monday. Um, with a, with a she reposted it saying, as seen by thousands, never worn naked. So uh, there you go. Yeah. But yesterday, um, Gordon! The toilet's blocked again! Right. Coming. Ugh. <laughs>